Welcome to the Body of Art Show with your host, professional fine artist and holistic art coach, Catherine Lucas. Join Catherine and her expert guests as they share insights and inspiring stories of transformation that will help you develop self-mastery and truly hone your craft. Now, learn to become the masterpiece that you are with your host, Catherine Lucas. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Body of Art Show. I'm your host, Catherine Lucas. Today, I want to get into how to reclaim your artistic mojo and start creating art again, even if decades have gone by. There are many reasons why we stop creating art or never get around to doing it in the first place, even though we have every intention to do so. One of the most common things I hear from artists or artists at heart is that too much time has gone by, that they're too old now, and there's more important things to do, and the list goes on. Many think that they've lost that window of creativity as if it only belonged to their youth. But there's nothing further from the truth here. In today's episode, I want to talk about how you could jumpstart your art again and begin creating anew no matter how much time has gone by. This includes those of you who have yet to even start making their art. But first, I just want to let you know how much I really appreciate you all taking the time out of your busy day to be here. I know your time is precious, and I want to give you as much value as I possibly can during our time together so that you leave feeling inspired and empowered. I also appreciate all the kind and inspiring feedback that so many of you have given me about the show. It truly inspires me to be here with you each time and share any experiences, knowledge, or insights that may help you master your passion. I also invite you to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas. On this page, you can ask me questions, share your thoughts, accomplishments you achieved, or even challenges that you're facing to gain insights on how to overcome them. I encourage you to post your requests for future topics you would like to have on the show. Here, I'll post tips, inspirational messages, and ask questions so that we can share and learn from each other. As always, you can connect with me on my website, bodyofart.net. I put a link to my Facebook page on my website so that it's easy for you to find. Now, before we begin, I'd just like to remind you each time that the Body of Art Show is intended for educational, inspirational, and motivational purposes. It's not a substitute for professional medical diagnosis, treatment, or advice. So absorb what resonates with you today and just release the rest. In my previous episode of Art is a Real Job, I mentioned three artists who didn't pursue their art because they believed creating art held no value for the world. Two of them commented that it's too late now that they lost that window of time in their life where they felt more imaginative and creative. Now they think too much time has gone by and that they've lost their skills and lack the imagination they used to have. They feel they're too old to start up again now, believing that they lost their creativity for good. But that's so far from the truth. No matter how long it's been or how old you are, you can begin anew with your art. I have students who started to pursue their passion for painting after a lifetime devoted to another career and raising a family. They actually picked it up where they left off pretty fast, and after a couple months, it became part of their natural lifestyle again, where creating art is automatic for them on a regular basis. I have some students who started for the first time later in their life, in their 70s, and actually excelled to be award-winning artists in national shows. Many people believe that our brain and creativity declines with age, but I don't buy that for a second. I see too much evidence otherwise in my students and colleagues. In fact, I see that with age, the imagination can actually grow. Maybe it's because the longer we live, the more life experience we have to incorporate and also depart from in our expression. Whatever the case may be, I see a maturity and depth in the work of my older students as well as my own artwork that I could never have achieved in my youth. In fact, scientific research backs this up. Studies have shown that the brain has amazing plasticity, renewing itself on a regular basis, allowing us to continually grow intellectually in our later years. But the thing is, you have to use it. My students who excel have the attitude that they've completed one career and now they're evolving into the next one. Others that are still working have found that they can also pursue art 
and their art making actually enhances their careers because they're learning to think more dynamically and creatively. So no matter where you're at in your life, you can start creating art and continually evolve it. So how can you get your artistic mojo back after time away? Here are six ways that I found that were very useful for my clients as well as myself. The first thing is you have to make yourself a priority, at least for so many hours a week. Put yourself on your calendar and unplug from everything else. Now let me just say, putting yourself first is not a selfish thing. In fact, it benefits others around you more than if you do everything for everyone else at your own expense. This wears you down and from that depleted state you have nothing to give to others or even yourself. On the other hand, when you feed your soul, you'll be in a better mood, have a better perspective, and have more energy to help or care for others. The people around you will love you even more for it, so do your art. Next, create a space designated for your art only. It doesn't have to be a big one. It could be a closet, a small room, or even a portion of your garage. Being a designated space, you don't have to reorganize it when you're done. Having its own place allows you to jump right into the creative mode without having to collect stuff and set things up again. You can also sign up for an art class at your local art center and use that as your creative space. This is a great and very affordable way to get guidance and meet others who will inspire you. Another great way to ignite inspiration is just to look at art. Go to an art exhibit or a museum or even look at art books. You don't always have to be doing art to be actively creating. Engaged minds and eyes that are absorbing inspiration is part of the creative act too. I like to say that I'm always painting whether I'm yielding a brush or taking a hike because I'm always observing the play of light, color, and form. Coloring books are another wonderful way to warm up to your art making. Mandala coloring books are especially great for this. They really get you into the creative zone. I find that mandala coloring books are a great way to distress and even segue into my next series of work. Exploring various media is a fun way to jump back into your art. There's no pressure here to create a perfect and complete work of art. Exploring different media will help you find out if you're a lover of oil, acrylic, or watercolor paint, or even drawing or clay sculpture. You'll feel which medium resonates with you most and fulfills you the most. Finally, reproducing master or popular paintings are a great way to get back into your art. Earlier in my career, when I was intrigued by everything, from expressionistic paintings to photorealism, I painted reproductions of images from art books and even from paintings in the Metropolitan Museum of Art when I lived in New York City. This greatly informed me of my sensibilities toward the subjects, mediums, and style that I enjoy working with most. Plus, these paintings made great gifts for family and friends. Now, returning to something you love after years away can be an emotional experience. Life can get in the way of art making and approaching it as if it's brand new to you will help you figure out how to reconnect with it. These tips have not only helped me, but also many of my clients to reignite art back into their life. Now as we wrap up today's show, I just want to impart to you that no matter how long you've been absent from your art, you can still reconnect to it and continue to evolve it. You'll also be surprised to find out that you haven't lost anything with your hiatus no matter how long it's been. After a little warm-up time, you'll pick right up where you left off. So many of my clients were hesitant to restart their art because they thought they had to start all over again. But they found the opposite to be true. After a short time of reacquainting their eye-hand coordination, they picked up at the same level where they left off. Age doesn't matter either. One of my clients started up again in her 70s and now in her late 70s is an award-winning painter on a national level. So no matter what age you are or where you're at in your life, you can reclaim your mojo and make art part of your life again. Well, I want to thank you all again for listening to the show today. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here and would love to hear any comments you have about today's episode. You could do this by subscribing to the Body of Art Show on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or TuneIn Radio and leave any comments there. I invite you to leave your review and ratings on iTunes as well. Don't forget to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas, to let me know what you think about today's episode. And remember, you can always connect with me on my website, bodyofart.net. That's spelled 
B-O-D-Y-O-F-A-R-T dot N-E-T. Here you can find all of my previous episodes and opt in for my podcast sign up. That way every show will be sent directly to your inbox so that you don't have to go looking for it each time. Meanwhile, please stay tuned for more insights, advice, and inspiration in the next episode. Until next time, I want to leave you with this one masterpiece of insight by British novelist, poet, and literary critic C.S. Lewis. He said, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. On that note, I empower you to take charge of your art and become the masterpiece that you are. You've been listening to The Body of Art Show, hosted by Catherine Lucas. The Body of Art Show has been brought to you by Body of Art Enterprises Incorporated, your source for individualized art mentorship and coaching. Our mission is to educate and support aspiring artists to step into their own personal power and master their passion. To learn more, go to bodyofart.net.